also use the knee lever as a defensive tactic. So if the top person gets a good cross face underhook and he's in front of my knees and no longer have a knee shield, I'm in a vulnerable position here. He's in a strong place to pass. We can use our knee lever to, to recover our position here a little bit. So I just bring my, I, I can only do this when his knee is on the mat. So when his knee is on the mat here, I'll bring my feet up and we'll do the same knee lever here. So the same knee lever can, I can get on top perhaps if he didn't post, or he can defend. So he can defend with three different limbs. The one he just did, this one, we'll do, show you that one again. He can post out that way. He can post out maybe with this arm. And then he can also post with this leg and grab the floor. So it's hard for him to come back up, okay? So we're gonna look at the leg one first. I think this is one of the simplest things that, that we can respond to. So I'm in this bad position. I'm gonna put my feet in place. I knee lever, he steps up. I bring my hook up, you see? So I bring my knee up and my foot is flexed so I have a strong butterfly hook here. So now I'm in a perfect position to do a suma geshi, a corner throw, a corner sweep, and I just come up. So guys, look at the position. Cross face, underhook, his knees are on the mat. He's gonna back step with this leg to, to counter our knee lever. And we're gonna bring our knee up so we catch him with the butterfly hook. So I come here, I bring my knee up, I, my foot is flexed, and then I just extend it and I can come on top. Okay, let's try this. One, two. <laughs> 